Okay, this is a continuation of that uh, Frankenstein motor that I've shown in my last couple of videos. And um, somebody wanted to know how long it would run on a AAA battery. It ran 48 hours. There's the circuit diagram again. And this is what it looks like. And uh, I put it on a AAA battery to, or a AA battery to see if it will run longer. But on the AAA battery, it, it only ran about 48 hours. And that's with no sunlight. That was just keeping it inside out of the sun. But I thought I would try another one here uh, using uh, parts out of the solar waiver, like what Slider and Granddad have been using. And that's the little coil, and that's the solar panels. Very, very difficult. And I don't think I'm going to actually be able to do what I want to do. But in the story of Frankenstein, the monster wanted a bride. And he forced Victor Frankenstein, Dr. Frankenstein, to try to build him a bride. And that's what's going on here. This is uh, Frankenstein's bride, or the monster's bride. And in the uh, story by uh, Mary Shelley... Uh, the doctor uh, takes it apart and throws it away. He doesn't like what he's seeing there. So this might be the same thing because I'm not getting exactly what I want to see there. But at least I got it to run. Now this is a couple of those uh, solar panels out of the solar waivers. The little coil is in there. Um, it's a supercapacitor with a reed switch. I pre-charged it with this battery. It's about 3 volts. And then as the thing turns around, the magnet triggers the reed switch, the coil is excited, the magnet pushes against the coil and you get rotation. I can't get this to run in solar energy and solar light. Um, like I say, I'm not liking what I'm seeing, but at least I got it to run and I named it the Bride of Frankenstein motor. Um, on a Mendocino kind of thing, it worked just fine using the guts out of one of these solar waivers and I got it to work and I've made other motors like that but on this particular configuration I don't know if I'm going to get there and I may end up uh, taking it apart and using the parts for something else. Uh, these domes are what you get in the Halloween uh, uh, stores at Halloween for a dollar and when Halloween rolls around again I'll get a bunch more of these. They're plastic and they cost a buck. This had a skull in it. I took the skull out but uh, Halloween rolls around, I'll get some more of these because they're real handy for these little projects. But anyway, this is um, this is what this sounds like. This is what the old man sounds like. And um, like I say, I don't know how far I'm going to go with this thing. Uh, I'll give a link to the uh, story of Frankenstein, Dr. Frankenstein and his monster. And it's quite a story. And in the story... The monster doesn't die. The monster does a, a lot of horrible things and some good things, but he ends up going up to the North Pole, and Dr. Frankenstein chases him to kill him, but uh, he gets away and then claims uh, he's going to kill himself, but I don't think he does. Anyway, this is a little project I'm on right now, Bride of Frankenstein. Thanks for watching.